At the end of the book of Genesis, there is a wonderful little story about Joseph and his eleven brothers. It's a story about sibling rivalry, anger, betrayal, and revenge. But mostly, it's a story about forgiveness. Jesus said that if we forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. Imagine that. God wants us to forgive one another. So here's the story. By the way, we've made a few changes to the story, but nothing too big. Hope you enjoy the show. Jacob had twelve children, but his most favorite child was Joseph. He loved him so much. Sometimes his brothers and sisters got jealous of all the attention Joseph got. Joseph was very special because God gave him a very special gift, the ability to understand dreams. On a beautiful starry night, Joseph went to sleep happy as a clam. When God spoke to him in his dream, he dreamed that there were twelve bundles of wheat, the same number as all brothers and sisters in Jacob's family, including Joseph. All of a sudden, eleven bundles of wheat bowed down to Joseph's bundle of wheat. Then he saw in the sky the sun, the moon, and twelve stars. All the same thing happened. This time, the stars and even the sun and the moon bowed down to Joseph's star. Well, when Joseph told the siblings about his dream, they were very angry. You're not going to be king over me, no way. Who do you think you are, Joseph? You're not that special. You better watch your back, Joseph. One day, Jacob decided to give Joseph a very special gift: a pair of Blake Griffin Superfly Two Air Jordans. Wow! But that just made his siblings even more angry and jealous. Joseph, my son, please go check on your brothers in the field and see if they're doing their work. Yes, Daddy, I will. Okay, remember, you're the best. Joseph went in search of his brothers and sisters. We are working hard out in the hot sun. Joseph was scared. I really want to beat him up and kill him. This is hard work. I'm with Joseph. 
When they saw Joseph, they were overcome with rage and they attacked him. Old brother Reuben convinced the others not to kill him. Stop it, don't kill him! One of the brothers took those Blake Griffin Jordans and flung them in the air. Instead, they carried out to a far off place and tied him to the fence. A merchant was walking by that Ruben had in there. You can miss, are you interested? He sold his very own brother into slavery. Can you imagine that? Joseph had grown to a strong, handsome man. The merchant traveled long and far to a place where she could get the top dollar for Joseph. She took him to Egypt. The merchant came to a rich man named Potiphar, who worked very closely with the king. Potiphar was in charge of the king's police force. The merchant made a very good profit and went on his merry way. I want to see if you really do. See those weeds? Start weeding. Hurry. Hmm. Joseph did a pretty good job. That weeding must have been nothing to him. I think I'm gonna have to give him some more responsibilities. This is my home. You have worked so good, and I think I'm gonna give you a bigger responsibility. Would you like to take care of my whole home? Yes, yes. All right, Joseph, I'm fixing to go meet a man about some crops. What I'm going to need you to do today is wash the windows, clean them thoroughly, and make sure they're clean. But whatever you do, stay 10 feet away from our work. Now, what we might do is cause some problems in the corn, and it's been passed down from family to family. That's all we need to do. Start with that. Get it clean. Yeah, right there. Yeah, good luck. First, Joseph was beaten down by his brothers and sisters. Then he was sold into slavery. He was accused of something he didn't do, and he and was stuck in jail. But it turns out God had had a plan for Joseph. Yo, man, I woke up, man. I had this weird dream. It's as if there was this big cup of wine, and then the king came out of nowhere. I had to give him some. 
had a weird dream too. I had a weird dream that there was this big pile of wheat and it just, it just all disappeared. So God gave me the ability um, to tell dreams. So you want the good news first or the bad news? The good news. The good news is you didn't, you didn't see that tree in like two days. It's the summit of the king is wine again. And you. Wine steward! Wine steward! I got some good news! You've been let free! The king wants you to serve his wine again! Where's the wine steward? Oh, word? I'm out. Peace. Are you the baker? Come with me. The king had his own dream. Mm. <gasps> that was the strangest dream. Four five. Yes, my king. How may I help you? I had the strangest dream last night. And for some reason, I don't know what to do. I once had a servant, a worker, named Joseph, and he told me that he could interpret dreams. Fetch him at once. God, come here, now! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What can I do? Go get Joseph out of prison. I need him. Ain't that? Okay. Is there a Joseph? Joseph? Is it true? That you can interpret dreams? That God gave you the gift to understand dreams? Yes, sir. The king has had a very strange dream, and he needs you to help him understand his dream. Come with me. They say that I have a brother king. That's all hard. Please. I heard that you can understand dreams. Last night I had the weirdest dream. In the dream, there were seven big, fat, happy cows strolling along the merry way when all of a sudden, seven skinny, scarred, and weak cows appeared out of nowhere. Well, guess what? Those skinny cows began to eat the fat cows. Pretty soon, the fat cows were all gone, and there was nothing left except seven skinny cows. Strange dream indeed. God interpreted um, dreams. He gave me these dreams and he talks to me. And God is showing me that um, you can have the, the fat cows represent seven years, seven years of good crops and wonderful, wonderful food that will last for seven years. And skin cows grow. It's gonna, you're gonna have no rain, no crops, no food to feed the birds. I am gonna put you in charge of all of my crops. Make it so. Seven years of good crops came to Egypt. Joseph knew that the seven bad years were coming when the land would produce no crops at all. So he was very wise. He stored enough grain to survive the bad years coming. Other places were not so fortunate. In fact, back where brothers and sisters lived, they became very hungry. Word had spread that there was plenty of food in Egypt, so Jacob so Jacob sent his brothers in, to Egypt in search of four feet of food. So they traveled a long, long way and waited at the line in, at, at the food pantry. Little did they know, their own brother was in charge of the food pantry. Okay, you guys, we have a lot of hungry people coming here today, so we have to keep going, all right? Uh, you go past the mashed potatoes. You go get the beans. You get the sour milk. You get the get the um the nuggets. Forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one. Oh my God! Those are my brothers and sisters. Uh, I remember when they when they beat me up and left me for dead. What should I do? I have an idea. I'm going to go for you guys, 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 I